Legend of Total War here with the new campaign series for Total War Rome 2. Now it's been absolutely ages since I've played uh, this game at, on the grand campaign so I thought I'd go back to it and uh, just try and have some fun, sort of keeping in line to uh, 2017's new formats I guess. And not to say that we're not going to ever do challenge campaigns again but I'm just taking a little bit of a break from that stuff and focusing more on just having fun. Which means this campaign is not, I'm not going to be making the smartest army builds, I'm not going to be blitzing the campaign map, I'm just going to be doing what I want to do, and sometimes that might seem a little bit silly, it'll just be, it'll just be because I want to have fun, and just to see what I can do, okay, so hopefully you guys can understand that. Now, if you haven't got this game yet, but we're thinking of getting it, um, and also want to help support my channel, I'm an affiliate of White Tie Games. And now I've got a, uh, a link, an affiliate link in the description where you can purchase the game, and a portion of the the sale um, helps me because it goes to me. So it's just an alternative to Steam and G2A. Um, some people, like in my uh, Scipio campaign for Rome 1, people, a lot of people were saying things like, stop being an affiliate of G2A. But I said in that video that I was no longer affiliated with G2A, because I know that there's like some dodgy sales that go on with it. Um, so I've moved away from that. Now as far as I can tell, White Tie Games has none of those sort of dodgy games. Anyway, um, or dodgy sales I should say. Anyway, so we're going to be playing the Grand Campaign as Rome, because that's what I want to play. I play on Legendary Difficulty because that's what I always do, although I do think that the later Total Wars are indeed more enjoyable on like normal, hard or very hard, but I'm still going to play on Legendary Difficulty. Um, we're going to play on the House of Junior, because I've already played as the House of Julia. There's not a huge difference between them, it's just basically the few stats over here. But I really like this bonus here, Founding Fathers, Public Order bonus, maximum of plus six, from Presence of Latin Culture. And uh, let's just have some fun. Now in addition to that, this series will be recorded on 60 frames per second. It's the first series I've ever done recording 60 FPS. I know my computer can handle it, so that's not a problem. It's just a matter of the the, uh, the file size. It's going to be huge. So I don't know how that's going to work with my uploading schedule, but we'll figure something out. Etruscan League. March north and capture their territories. This will allow you to consolidate Italia and ensure the safety of Rome. You must wage war if you hope to extend your dominion. Syracuse and Carthage own territory in Magna Graecia. So conflict with them is inevitable if you wish to expand across the Mediterranean. Otherwise, they may prove useful allies against Etruria or the Gaulish tribes to the north. Come what may, Rome will triumph. Okay. So, alright, um, there's a lot of things I want to do in this campaign. I, I would like to go whole map completion, as in conquer the whole map. Um, but we'll see how we go. Now, one of the, uh, the, the, the main things that come up, I guess, in the comments, um, in the, the, the latest Total Wars is my usage of auto resolve. I auto resolve a lot in these campaigns and it's largely because the auto resolve is broken. It's overpowered. Um, and on legendary difficulty, you're kind of silly not to use it unless you're the auto resolve, unless the balance of power is actually not in your favor or spliced right down the middle. And you're kind of silly to use many of the resolve battle when you, you have trash units versus trash units even. Many of the resolve battles in this game on legendary difficulty are, are much more doable with higher tier units than with the lower tier units just because the, the insane amounts of bonuses that the AI gets, which they didn't have when the game first came out. Um, yeah, it, it, it does make a big difference. So there will there'll still be a lot of auto resolving, but I'm going to try and like rush to high tier tech as soon as possible. Anyway, let's get started. So first thing I want to do is take out. Uh, I'm just going to push this guy out of the way, and I'm going to go after Velar three. So I'm just gonna, there's no point fighting that manually. I mean, you guys tell me. Would you would you rather me? Auto resolve a fight, which you knew would be just a one-sided battle. There's no way I would lose. Or would you rather watch the battles in which there was actually a chance um, I could lose on it? 
All right, so with you, I want you to try and sabotage this army. I do enjoy a little All right, well, at least you gained experience. That's all I really need you to do. Okay, um, we need to recruit Hastati. Like crazy, because the AI are able to recruit very quickly. So we need to be fast and try and... Uh, Get the advantage on our enemies, enemies as soon as possible. Now another thing I really need to focus on is getting a good amount of control in the uh, in the Senate because in this campaign I would like to actually ignite a civil war, and in order to do that I need to have a lot of influence, and that can be hard to maintain sometimes. Um, probably didn't help that I gave this guy experience because this this one here is our faction leader. Yeah, I probably should have uh, hired a new general for that bit. But the, the thing is, that would have cost money. Money we don't really have right now. Um, okay, so first thing I want to do, I need to get my economy underway. As much as I said I'd like to rush to high tier troops, we cannot maintain our settlements um, with, the, with the current buildings that are available here. We need technologies. Uh, let's have a look here. So that's that's all that's done. Uh, I don't think we can get any trade agreements or anything. It's just not going to work. Greetings. Now speak. Yeah. They just don't like us. We don't have anything to offer. Greetings. We are civilized no. folk, so you may speak as you wish. All right, never mind. Moving on. Okay, well that certainly helps with public order. You can see here it's only barely being maintained, it's not being maintained at all here. Lowering the tax rate, we need the, we need the money, so we can't afford to do that. I should have come here. Okay, I need you to to come out here. We're going to make the attack on Alalia together. While he handles them. All right. I don't. Uh, yeah, sabotage them. God damn it! At least you leveled up. Okay, we need some more troops. Three more Hastati should do it. Now, Roarii are really good in order resolve, but uh, I'd like to try avoid using them in this campaign. I mean, you can go through the entire campaign with this just using Roarii very easily because they're so cheap. But like I said, I want to have fun. I don't want to use trash units. But you know, there's only so much I could do. Okay, so let's see here. What do we need? Okay, we should probably... We should, we need some food, that's for sure. I'm gonna get rid of this here, just because that's... Not, it's not consuming food, but... I think it would help if I got rid of it. Need public order. Okay, at Neapolis. Put one of those down. We really need to get Syracuse as soon as possible because of the grain there. Provides global bonuses to grain. Okay. I don't like checking every single turn for diplomacy because there's so many factions and it's it's hard to tell a lot of the time what you're going to get out of them. Alright, strike at Araminum. I find it's best not to loot settlements just because the, the long-term public order damage ends up costing you more money than it's worth because you just you just have to sit there for a while 
to maintain public order. Like, it's okay if you want to sack a set looter settlement and then leave it immediately, but that's usually not what I want to do. Alright, um... If we sabotage him... I really don't want this guy to go south, I need him to go north. Next turn. I want you to sabotage this guy, because I want to hit him next. Now that, that's going to probably recover all their casualties over the end turn. I might need another army to come to be... Come down here, hang on. 15% uh, tax rate, yep. So I want to raise a new army of the Junii. Raise a new army. Yeah, um... I prefer General's Bodyguard over, over Infantry. If you get caught in a map in the result battle, they tend to go for your General. Infantry, hard to get away from that. And... You know, I'm going to need more troops up here anyway. But if he comes down here, I want you to be able to um, to stop him. Okay, so at the moment we... Oh man, look at this. This is crap. We need um, more influence. Okay, so that helped. We, we, we want to try and get as high influence as possible. Because um, that will help ignite the civil war earlier. Which um, would be better than igniting it later. Alright, so let's see. We've got no money, so don't even bother doing anything else. Let's move on. Another thing is, if you want to um, get technology really quickly, you need to have a lot of regions. Well, he's just committed suicide there. No point fighting it manually, it's not even going to be interesting, and it won't be good for the campaign for us, because if I fought that manually, I wouldn't have been able to kill them all, and I'd have to hunt them down again, which actually could have been an idea for him, because we want him to gain as many levels off as possible. Another thing that... Uh, it's not really the game's fault, but I, just a personal design... well, preference, I suppose, is I, I don't really like one turn per year, because our generals, we don't really get a whole lot of use out of them before they die of old age. can be a bit annoying. Need to get ready to make the attack. Um, if we assassinate him, very low chance of success. But if we can, if we can get rid of him, that's less units we have to worry about against Batavium. Good, good. And also making this spy better. I mean, spies, spies will um, actually be more useful to you than armies, especially in the late campaign. You always want to have really good spies. Um, so what we're doing here, we need to go down this line here to get the extra public order bonuses. And then after that, we'll go and get military um, reforms. Because I don't like pre-Marian reforms very much. Okay, now if we do this, we end the war against the Etruscans. Now I of course want Brutus here to make the attack. Because he needs the experience so that we can rank him up. You just reinforce. You'll have to maintain garrison afterwards. Maintain public order. Even though the settlement is going to be pretty much worthless at first. Well, it's just... Something we need to do. Alright, so now we want him to be disbanded. Because I don't want a navy right now. Send him back to Rome, and that way he'll continue to gain influence for the faction, the more gravitas he has. And this is what we want. We need to get nice and early influences. Do not have enough money. That's, that's okay. But we've gone up to 44%, and that's helped with public order. Oh, fuck. Got, like, no money now. Get 
Well, since I've got no money, no point constructing anything. It's just not. Oh shit. I shouldn't have done that now in hindsight because we've got an empty build slot here, which could cause slums, which costs money to get rid of. Um, let's try and get a trade agreement Greetings, with these guys. No. We will speak together of whatever you. If I can get a trade agreement and try and get a little bit of cash out of some of them, it might. No, Athens of... won't accept it. You are welcome. Oh. There's low everywhere. Let's forget it. Alright, let's move on. It's getting hot in the fan. I'll try and start the day off without the fan, because I know the background noise can be a little bit annoying, but it just it gets too hot. When it gets to winter, I don't need the fan, but we're not quite there yet. Winter lasts about three weeks in Australia. Yeah, so we now we need to get rid of that. So that was that was not good. But I needed I needed the politics stuff, so Ready for orders. you know sometimes you got to do these things. All right, military sabotage. No, 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 no. Assassinate him because these are these are oath sworn. How can I, be of assistance? I need that gone. All right, good job. That'll make it a lot easier to kill it. Ready for battle. Okay, now as for you, I want you transferred out. Let's see here. Grab this guy. We hunger for battle. And then adopt him. Now, it costs us 16 senators, which is quite a lot, but at the start of the game, this is the time to gain influence, not at the end of the game, because then it just takes way too long. Because I, do, I don't I don't even know fully how it works. I think there's a hidden influence number, and it's hidden behind the scenes. And it never goes down for other factions. And so getting percentage increases on that gets harder the longer the campaign's been going. So why can't... No, I don't have enough money. Okay, yeah. Well, at least he's now... Um a junior member because like I said we got to try and get as much influence as possible if we do want the civil war to happen otherwise otherwise it's very hard to occur you got to get way levels way higher levels of imperium otherwise so what we want to do is try and keep the the other faction members ranks keep them at like rank one give them like basically garrison duties okay public order here is actually pretty good why is that oh there's an ev the events of providing public order um so you can probably just bend a few of these guys that are maybe a little bit more on the pricey side not that everything's particularly expensive, but you know, a little bit low on cash. You're going to need to come back to here. We need to wait for an opportunity to attack them. So that'll help with technology research rate as well. And a little bit of food. But I'm pretty much out of money. Let's see if they'll trade with us now. It's not going to be much money, but it's better than nothing. I'm not offering them cash for a trade. Oh, actually, they might, because it'll increase my income. I'm not going after these guys for quite some time. So. And now it just says low. I never asked for them. Okay, so these guys here. Moderate. I'll give them a little bit of cash. Good, and that way it's making me... Okay, so after two turns I'll get my money back on that agreement. Let's move on. Yeah, 
There's weak attrition because of the lack of food, but that's okay. So you come back over here, you only need to recruit. Okay, so it looks like these guys here would be an easier target. That wouldn't be easier to manually resolve though because of the walled settlement. We don't have very good equipment to deal with that. You just stay here for the turn. I need you to keep an eye on them. Wait for the right time to strike. Uh, they, they usually start off a war with each other. Let me have a look. Yeah, they're there. They're, they're at each other's face. They're also at war with Massilia. <coughs> Excuse me. Alright, so what are we doing now? Syracuse has already taken control of that. Uh, it would be a good idea for us to take this as soon as possible, just because of the, the grain that's at Syracuse. It's such a big help. Because um, it helps us to get to the tier 4 settlements. We need we need the food. It's the main thing that stops us. Alright, now I've got a bit of money. So I could recruit more troops, which would make it easier to, to hit there. Or I could actually build some stuff which might help a bit more. Like, for example, this, although it uses up one food, we've got plenty at the moment. Um, oh, that reminds me. Gotta get this. So, although it consumes one food, it does provide two public order for all provinces. So that'll be across four different provinces. So that'll certainly help. But that uses up all of our money. Okay, so be it. See, converting that at this point is exactly the same. And people have said in the past that if, you know, not converting it causes, you know, cultural differences, it's not true. There's a base cultural in each um, region, and if it doesn't specifically say providing um, culture to Hellenistic culture, then it's not providing it to the Hellenistic culture. Some people, I, t I swear to God, they just get an idea in their head, they make no effort to try and disprove it, and then they stick to it as if it's the truth. Alright, let's move on. The main reason why you want to convert a settlement, Between friends, okay, I can accept that, is, is because of the garrison. Be you don't get any garrison on foreign buildings. But that being said, the garrison is usually trashy, even if it is Roman. So, it's like, it doesn't matter. Okay, we've just lost 5% influence because of this. So... Ah, uh, praise her. So yeah, we've we got to be securing all the promotions we can. What do we need for him? He must be... 35 years or older, and rank 3 or higher. So he doesn't have very much gravitas, and he's, he's on level 36. I just don't have money to just throw at the political system just yet. Okay, now we can get dignitaries. Genua is... is not well defended. Where did they go? They must have come this way. No, I don't, I don't see where they are. Or maybe they're standing right here. Well, whatever the case is, these guys are probably going to take Genoa. Now might be our time to uh, wait for them to hit that, and then we'll take Medlan, which is a better prize. Are you ready to serve Rome? This is up all of our money. We've still got enough for one more building. Just trying to think what. One public order building should be enough for the region, for the long term. Because 100% Latin here. Let's upgrade it Ariminum and get the pit mines. Okay. Now over here... So the public order is going down here, but that's largely because of winter. There's still a little bit of provincial instability. It's just going to take a while to fix up. 
Also, as I said before, we can't be having generals just sitting here being statesmen because they're providing influence for their faction. So we need to recruit them and just have them sit in regions, somewhat in danger as well. Because that way if they die, well, good. It does cost us money to do this, but so be it. Take someone down here to provide a little bit of public order might help. Can we hire Brutus here for free? No. He, he can't raise the army because it's not for free for him. That's okay. Moving on. Good, that gave us heaps of influence there, plus 25 senators. Like I said, we've got to be securing promotions as early as possible. Good, I'd like to get it to here, but that's that's kind of difficult to get it that, that, that far up. Okay, so we found where they are, and they had been hit by these guys, which means they're probably going to have some sort of counter-attack. Okay, now is a good chance, oh hang on, shit, stand right there, hopefully you can block them coming back, we need to, we need to hit Medland right now, if they attack the settlement we can defend against them, because we'll have the garrison, uh, the, the walls to help us. Should have sabotaged that army. Make sure he comes in as well. Don't fight them because they're busy. They'll be busy trying to get that back. Try this without taking any casualties. Many casualties. Good. Now these guys here, yeah, they can still get across and, and attack. But are they more likely to maybe come to Velathri? One way or another, our spy will eventually sabotage them, and that'll slow down. That'll slow them right down. Okay, so we're meddling. Oh, God, we've got an empty build slot, so we have to build here, otherwise we get slums. What do we need? We need money. This needs to be converted to a library, because I need that research rate, but it does cost food. For the time being, just leave that there, because it is providing some food. Well, I just want to stabilize the region before converting the stuff, because I don't know what's going to happen. Alright, let me see. How are we going with the political stuff? Okay, all of them are generals now, which means they're not in Rome providing influence for their, their house. Unless an actual political event happens. Okay, so here we can disband some more of that. We just want this guy here to just be... Just stay there and do nothing for the rest of his life. Um, just trying to think what else. Okay, so let's see if there's people that like us that might trade with us. The guards will have me listen to you. Be welcome, and may her... I think diplomacy in this game is very bad. It's very badly programmed, in my opinion. Alright, so... Well, that uses up most of our money. Let's just move on to the next turn. I doubt they'll make the attack here, because that, that won't, they won't be able to win it. But we'll, we'll see what happens. A treaty between us would please the gods and give our enemies much. Yeah, okay. 
I kind of hope these guys make their turn first, come over this way. Alright, so yeah, they're going to do that. Thought they might do something along those lines. Okay, if you can sabotage him, that'll stop him from making any attacks. If you just keep sabotaging him every turn, we'll, we'll catch him. Good job. He can't make an attack this turn. Now as for them, we're not at war with them, so if we take this back, they'll just go wandering around, probably into Massilia, and die. Also, if they're unable to make an attack, they're going to start starving. But still, even a full stack with like half of its strength can still take Araminum's garrison out very easily. But we're catching up to them. Yeah, see, they realize when they're going to lose a settlement. The fucking idiots! God damn it, they've already got bloody slums in there now. I gotta fix it up. Wow, the public order is absolute shit. I don't know if we're gonna be able to fix. What's the problems here? Raiding's causing problems, cultural differences, slaves. Right, too many penalties, not enough bonuses. I don't know, it might be best to just let the revolt happen. It should happen at Medlan itself. But then again, they'll they'll just take the sandwich straight away. Okay, you come and stand right here. Try and maintain garrison. Maintain public order, I mean. Okay, now let's build that because it needs it. That'll help us to disband these two. Okay, now we need more cash. What are we going to build? See, this is good. It provides a bit of food. No, no downside. Let's grab that. How's our Imperium? Good. We probably won't be able to get the Civil War until we're about here, but like I said, the sooner, you're, sooner it starts, the better. Alright, let's move on. Also, every episode in this series will be an hour and a half. You guys seem to have liked that. Oh, they, what the fuck? They shouldn't have been able to attack because they've sabotaged them. However, it's not that bad because we want this guy to die. Uh, we cannot win this battle. Actually, this, this could work out well for us because our other army should be able to come down here and take it. It's okay to lose... Generals that are not of our faction. So other houses now have no no family members. We need to avoid hiring from other houses because the the first one becomes a faction leader, and um, we can't make use of that. You gotta be. Okay, good. We can we can cross the river there past these guys. How can I, be of I need this to be sabotaged. Okay, good. Because that'll make all the difference. There we go. And that'll get rid of them. Same me having to hunt them down anywhere. And yeah, it'll cause a little bit of public order problems in Italy, but for the most part we'll be fine. Now, these ones... Oh, they came and helped. Huh. That's good, because I, I want them dead anyway. So that was all very lucky there. Okay, so at Velathri, we hadn't expanded the settlement. Did we? No. Alright, good. Let's just check public order in these regions.
Radio. What am I doing? I'm looking for something to do. Okay, well we've got empty build slots. We need to make use of that. Did I? Did I not build here last turn? And I should have. Um, we need a temple here. And at Velathri. Build another pit mine. Public order should be fine. We need the money. So we're starting to get a little bit more. It's getting there. There will be a revolt here this time unless we exempt it from taxation. But I think a revolt might actually be okay. Let it happen. Um, so I want this the money back here. Commander. You should be able to take on the revolt. So that will be fine. Okay, let's move on. Just trying to be careful. Okay, now the next thing I want to do is take on Syracuse before it's grain. Because we can't build high tier stuff without grain. There's a few grain settlements in the game and we need to try and get all of them. I know roughly where they are. Okay, so it's imminent now. It didn't actually happen. Okay, young boy in this province has befriended a dolphin. Um, let's just do nothing, it's... who cares. It's just a dolphin. So why is the public order worse here? Probably because of winter. I don't see the need to declare war on these guys. Actually, yes I do. Be good for influence for him. Which he needs. And also these these barbarians might start raiding here. Best we just get rid of them. We can't trust them. And don't like to enslave early on because causes too many public order problems now. Come to Genoa and help negate public order penalties. It's still going to have a revolt, but if the revolt happens here, I'm not sure if it happens in the capital or not in this game. Probably bloody show up there. But if it does, you'll be able to go there <coughs> and retake it. Okay, now what are we going to do with you? Who's our next target? That's right, Syracuse. Okay, we can get ourselves another spy. So what we want to do here, cancel the trade agreement. Now we're making a little bit of money from it, but... Greetings, my friend. You don't care, I want, want their land. Now while we're coming down here and fighting, these barbarians up here will probably... I uh, want to pick a fight with this. Which is fine. Okay, so now we grab this tech here, which will grab us extra tax rate, public order, reduce corruption. Very good for our economy. Alright, so we want you to come down south. And it would be good if we hide if we had two spies, I think. Keep them together. Helps the public order as well. Public order here is going downhill, but it's not going downhill that quickly. Let's uh let's grab that. Once we once we gain these two settlements as well, because that's part of this province, that'll really help. Public order in Rome or in Italy should be okay. There's actually a lot of instability here because they took it. Um, I mean, the thing is, to get the better public order, we get stats as well. So let's upgrade this because that'll give us more um, more public order. And that's more about f for this is more about money than food we will be relying very heavily on those grain settlements like Syracuse. The problem is it makes a very high value settlement. If you lose it, it's a big problem. Now there's another... 
Now, for a call, let me just see. The green settlements are Syracuse, Lepsis, there's like two in Egypt. I think there's one up here somewhere. Ak Inc. That one. I think they're all they're all grain settlements. I don't think there's any in Gaul or Iberia. You gotta have the bre bread baskets. Alright. So get a little bit of through at the moment. Maybe best just hold off on on that for the time being. Um and let's raise troops instead. Should we raise a new army to deal with Syracuse? I think so. Because I don't think I'm going to be spending a whole lot of money on building stuff right now. Let me just see. Oh, whatever, let's just, let's just do this. So try to avoid hiring from, other ha from the other houses. Because you can't adopt faction leaders. And let's focus more on getting promotions. So how are we going now? 58% influence. He's just a statesman. Oh, whatever. Okay, we're looking good. Let's move on. Now, I'm sure there'll be some people going, why isn't he converting all the, all the structures? Economically, converting them right now is not high value. We will, of course, convert them. We do need to, but just not yet. Bound by treaty, our lands would be as trireme and sail. Indivisible, strong... Good, let's get some money out of them. Because I don't intend to go to Greece right at this moment. Because the thing is, I want to I want to try avoid building like fisheries and things like that. Celtic Confederation, arrow. interesting. My people want your trade goods, trinkets, and the like. What say you? That could be good, because I don't really want to go to war with them right now. There's little value in it. The one fucking settlement that didn't have a defender. That's what I was saying. And then there's going to be another fucking revolt. So it didn't really do any damage to the settlement, because they only held it for like a fraction of a turn. If they hit Medland again, it'll it won't do anything. But the problem here is that we're, we're just, it's going to end in perpetual rebellions. We have to put a stop to it. This is why these texts are essential. Um, we need the Shrine of Jupiter right away. Exe and the thing is, if I exempt it from taxation, it still doesn't fix the problem. Anyway, let's not worry too much about that right now. I wonder if this guy here is going to be able to deal with Sicily or Syracuse on his own. Just not making enough money for my likings. Hopefully the next rebellion shows up here. Anyway, it could be a good opportunity for these guys to get more experience and more influence. That does help. Because if we can get a bit, bit more influence, it'll also help with public order. Keep the other houses, keep them zero get them as close to zero as possible. Influence. Okay, let's move on. Okay, good. At least the uh, the revolt happened where they can't take a settlement. There is good in trade. To walk through a market is... Yeah, that's, that's a very good deal there. I don't intend to attack them. Next person I intend to attack after um, Syracuse, after Sicily, is uh, Carthage, because I want their grain. I want Africa. Bad omen, huh? Let's have a look. A Vestal Virgin has been found guilty of sexual impropriety. Her lover has already been flogged to death. What should we be done with her? 
Um, have her killed. Okay, get rid of this. We can't leave this area because otherwise Liguria will take the settlement back. And yet still does go... Oh, because they're causing a revolt. Um, can never catch them without a navy. But just tell them to go away. Good. At least there won't be a revolt this turn. Gives us a chance to convert some of these things. Um, convert Batavium. See, I, I want to build up my economy more in Italy. And I need these troops. I can't make the attack on these guys without at least a full stack. But then again, if I fix the public order here, then I can send these some of these guys back down. So, I mean, that's not going to fix public order. Twenty-six percent. Yeah, let's have a look. What are the other problems here? Raiding was a big problem. It's just the instability. It's just going to take time for it to go away. Very expensive things to convert. Good. Good, we've gained the next level of influence. Brutus is there gaining small amounts of influence. Alright, let's move on. Forgot about them. Good, that's the end of Liguria. Uh, that's not too bad. As long as we're not losing influence, yeah, loss of agriculture for a few turns is not a big deal. Since we don't really rely on it anyway. Okay, so... Good, public order here is actually improving now because they don't have the conquest penalty. You should stay here. And you should stay here. Because if they attack, you, this is a defensible position. Those are not. And you should come down here. Meet up with them, you're going to help fight. Oh fuck, public order's not good anymore. Um, we should be able to fix it up into- oh shit. I was not going to revolt this turn. Right, I want to convert this to a library because I need the, the... Actually, let's convert it to an amphitheater. Need that public order. Okay, let's keep hiring troops. Don't worry about construction right now. We've got to get, um, got to get to Syracuse. Now, both of these, I can't put them both on on activate, but I can have them activating in separate regions that are separately owned. Okay, let's move on. We'll start making our way down to Syracuse soon. A slave revolt is imminent, that's not good. Um, you're going to have to come back. I can't have a slave revolt, they're annoying to deal with. Tarpian rock with him. I'm sick of. I don't like the the things because they're almost always bad. 
it's a reduced amount of political incident. It seems like every fucking term is a political incident. Um, once, once that instability is gone, that's really going to help. And of course, the text as well, they'll help as well. Ah, oh, that reminds me. Dignitary, I forgot about that. That'll help with culture and also with reducing our our costs. Passive action, alright, there we go. And also, one for you down here. Yeah, give it to this, because this is going to be a larger army. Okay, good. That'll that'll help make me a lot of cash. Okay, let's. I've still got a little bit of money, so we can expand this. And I want more cash. Public order here is not great, but it's winter, and it'll get fixed up as soon as these techs are done. So let's move on. Need the cash. A treaty between us would please the gods and give our enemies much to think about. Mm, no. Generally speaking, they don't declare war on us unless we're unreliable anyway. Okay, they, they wounded him. Wait, wait, what was that? Dark deeds. Good! Extra, extra senators. Now we're 67%. Really good. So he's wounded. But that's okay. He's still gaining gravitas. I actually, I never see them actually successfully assassinate. So you stay here. That'll save us a bit of cash. So you're a full stack now. Good, saves us 100. Okay, and uh, yeah, we need to go for the next one here. Plus three public order, reduce corruption, increase tax rates. All very crucial things. What do we need here now? At Midland, what do we need? Public order is good. It's it's improving, but it's largely because these garrisons are here. So the culture is going back up. Um, let's convert this now and. And this. Don't have enough money to convert that just yet. Actually, cancel, cancel that, that's not crucial. Convert that, because it would really help if we did have a garrison. Also, Roman walls are more defensible, I think, than, um, than barbarian ones. One army down here by itself is probably not going to be enough to beat Syracuse, but we'll see what we can do. With the spies, it might be enough. So I need to keep these guys here to maintain public order, I can't have them go away. Leaving him in force march isn't going to matter while he's inside the settlement, but just take him off anyway. Alright, is there any other trade agreements that we can establish? With Sparta, maybe? Welcome. I throw open the doors to you and bid you enjoy our talks. Good. Make quite a bit of money, then maybe we should have asked for more. Although my honor cries out. Greetings. Now speak plainly. So how much money did I make from that deal? 237 a turn, that's that's good. Gives us a little bit more cash as well to build something. Well, now we can convert that. Is there anything else we can build? No. Oh well. Getting rid of those non-cultural buildings is important. Let's move on. Yeah, whatever. They don't need authority, so that's fine. Good. She's already level 5. That really helps. And let's spend a little bit on politics. Because I want them influence. So these guys are young here. We want to try and get them as many... As much command stars as possible. And then maybe when they get to about 40, 45 years old, we want them to, to retire from war and just become a politician, continuously generating us influence over time for the rest of their life. Essentially for free. 
But of course, you know, it is good to have good generals, but don't grow to attach them anyway, because they die of old age. Like I said, we need to get the Civil War underway, and that takes time. To build things up. We're going to start doing that right now, or else it'll never happen. Poems are a serious problem requiring your immediate attention. How would you like to deal with this sea vermin? Um... Faction destroyed Epirus. Fine by me. So these guys here, they've got a lot of troops. But if they came down here, I'm pretty confident we'd, we'd beat them. Especially when that's built. Get ourselves an extra Principe. Maybe I should have forced March to consent here last turn to increase his public order, but it'll be alright. Alright, what are we doing here? Public order is good. There should still be some instability as well. And since the public order is good, we can afford to upgrade these. Because that doesn't cost food. We desperately need Syracuse. Good, that's been built now. Um, one of these armies could probably leave. But I think I should leave them here. Anyway, because I don't, tr I don't trust these these goals. And I've certainly got enough money that I can raise new armies. All right. Well, let's um, let's keep going. Just check out some more stuff here. Now, some people will say things along the line of, why don't I send a navy to go meet other factions, so I can go trade with them. The reason why I don't want to meet them is because it also means there's a potential for them to declare war on me. And I just, I don't care that much about trade in this game, it's not that crucial, so I'm not going to bother with it. And also, navies cost money. You could send an agent running around, but they've got other uses right now. Now, we start off with a non-aggression pact with Carthage. When we start wrapping up the war against Syr uh, Syracuse, we'll need to cancel that non-aggression pact. Okay, so we've got the Medusa head warriors here, controlled by Theophilus. Syracuse itself has eight units in garrison. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So there's 19 units here in total. All right, I want you to sabotage it because you got a higher chance of success. Good, and I want you to assassinate. Okay, it's okay. It would have been nice if that had worked. Now this might require a manually resolved battle, but I don't know. Let's have a look. Oh, no, 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 oh, fuck me. I thought it was a spy that I was looking at. Um, fucked up there. Unfortunately, there is no reset thing on that. Fucked up. Oh, well, he can still get all the things that he needs, but, um, yeah, I did fuck that up. Hang on, hang on. Let's see if we can get Carthage to come and help. Oh, well, just offer to help Carthage and get some money out of them for it. Alright, just forget it then. So this might require a manually resolved battle, or it might not. Let's see. Nope, it does not. Good. Yeah, we wouldn't be able to do this well with a manually resolved battle. Like I said, it's only worth doing when the, uh, the stats are really not in our favour. That's actually a lot of damage in those units, but we'll be fine. Commander. Okay, now that we've gained the grain here, we can see that our, our uh, food surplus has gone way up. Okay, we don't need either one of these buildings, so destroy them. 
keep that for the time being. How are we going for public order here? Right. I really fucked up with that agent. Because we could have had him having authority, which would have been um, way better for what he's, what he's doing. I just had a brain fart. Just sat there thinking I was looking at spies. Okay, income's going up, that's great. We need more cash though. Maybe even more armies. Alright, let's raise a new army. So don't recruit from the other houses until we absolutely have to. So these guys will go to um, Africa. Still got a little bit of cash left, but I don't think I can build anything with that. Alright, I'd say that this this um, war with Sicily is not going to last that much longer, and I don't want bad... Um, see, I lost a little bit of um, reliability by declaring war on, on Syracuse less than 10 turns after I had um, cancelled the trade agreement. So we'll probably lose a little bit of reliability for, for Carthage as well, but um, it'll be okay. Moving on. Okay, so at least this one I'll get it right. Reduces. For the amount of influence that they have will uh, decrease the uh, upkeep cost of its parent army. Which is why I really fucked up. By getting cunning, it doesn't need cunning. Now you guys need to get over here. I need to find where their other army is. Is this it? Can you assassinate him? Oh, and level up. Very nice. Now, can we make it over here? Public order here is not great. Need to really fix that up. I don't know if I want to send them over here to hit this, just yet. I want to send you out here, have a look around. Okay, if they've got another army, it's nowhere to be seen. So what's the, what's the big problems here? Just provincial instability. Well, let's just hurry up and take Lilibium, and then maybe we'll, we'll, we can put an edict down here. I'm not going to convert that just yet, because I could lose it straight away. At Cosentia. If we upgrade this, we can... We've certainly got the food supplies, so that'll help with public order and cultural conversion. So, go ahead with that. That does use up a lot of money, but we did get a little bit of a bonus. Did I adopt that guy? I didn't adopt him. Go do it straight away. I think. Just wait until we have nothing else to spend money on before we do that. So there's other things here that, that will need construction. Public order here is looking much better. Okay, if I was to make this a civil settlement, that's one extra public order per turn. What about over here? Oh, right. Um, if we go to war with Carthage, then you'll probably die. But you're a Cornelii, so recruiting a new one of you doesn't bother me. I don't need to upgrade that. There's going to be something I can upgrade. Alright, upgrade this. Give us a little bit more cash. And let's move on. Not another one. Fucking hell. 
All right, members of a strange new cult have been caught desecrating a temple of the gods. What would you like to do with this godless monsters? Um, make a public spectacle of them. See if I gain more influence for that. Ah, oh, motherfuckers. Okay, so can't be taking that uh, just yet. We can't be taking it on Carthage. Alright, not just yet. It might even be an idea to have non junior members in this area to maintain garrison, because these guys are like not doing anything right now. Alright, I want you I want you to pull out of here, come into Italy. I want to send you over to Alalia. I'm going to have you take on the mission of Corallus. We will declare war on them, just not this very second. I need to know where they're weak, so I can construct them where they're weak, because they're probably a stronger faction than me at the moment. Let's have a look. How strong is Carthage compared to me? They're stronger, but I'm smarter, so I can beat them. Okay, now we convert this, and... Nope, don't have enough money for it. Alright, so looking at this, public orders, it's, it's alright. If we can get it a bit more under control, that'd be good. I mean, that'll provide a bit of public order and money. Let's move on. Okay, so this time don't fuck up with that guy. Because he's one, one level behind the other one, essentially. So one thing that's crucial in our war with Carthage is not necessarily that we defeat them utterly, but that we take Lepsis. I need that food. Alright, good. Yeah, we can land here. We'll wait until we're absolutely ready. Everything's in position before we make the attack. Maybe I should have sent him over there. Well, whatever. Well, well he's not finished recruiting yet, so... All I've got is society at the moment, because... I mean, Prinker Bay is actually pretty good, but we just haven't, haven't got the tech required yet. I need to do this stuff first to sort of negate legendary difficulty in terms of public order. Because revolts, you can lose campaigns more on revolts than because of um, AI being aggressive. Usually in case they're not aggressive anyway. As long as you keep your reliability up, you're fine. So yeah, we want that extra public order and wealth. We've still got a good surplus of food. Well, let's move on. A treaty between us would please the gods and give our. If you give me a little bit of money, I'll accept it. Well, good. Because I have no interest in that territory right now. Come stand here. Oh, you've already got all the units you need. Okay, actually, come in here. Good, extra public order for the region. Come stand here. Even if they ambush you, you'll be fine. Okay. So you're here by yourself, protecting against all of this. I mean, in the open field, going up against that would not be fun. As in, we would not win. But if they were to attack Medland here, I'm confident that would beat them. Because of the walls. 
But if they came with allies, then that would be a tr would be a problem. We need to hurry up with the war, basically. Once they see that we're in a turbulent state, they might declare war. I'll probably need to raise another army. Can we do that? No. Unless you want to do it. Alright, I'll send you back. To raise another army. We just need to protect the, the north for the time being. I need more cash. I've got the food, so that's... Alright, how about, how about this? That'll provide cash. And growth. Alright, let's move on. So what we want to do when we hit Carthage is take Lilibium and Corellus basically on turn one of the war. What's this? Another one. So what's this? Your general has got a few a pet fawn. Um, the culture is milk white and follows him around like a loyal dog. He claims it is a gift from Diana the Huntress. Honor it then. So you can see their influence is falling. And ours is... We're at maximum... There we go. Because I'm going to try and increase it even further. Alright, I think next turn we'll make the attack. So you come over to here. Across the river. Don't care if we trespass. We're going to lose some reliability from doing this, but that's okay. If you come over here. You need to... You haven't fully replenished yet. You should stay in that settlement because you'll be pro providing public order. You come over here, you'll be able to make the attack on Lilibium. Let's sabotage them this turn. In fact, if you assassinate him, did they change it where if the general's been assassinated they don't actually get the recruitment? Let's, let's find out. Good. So that unit's got six in it, well seven, if when you include the general. Let's see if they recruit the three units that they wanted to over the end turn there. So just for the time being, you stay put here. Just keep an eye on them. Next turn, we we'll make the attack. Actually, maybe you should come in and help. Get more influence for yourself. I mean, you could have forced March, so I wouldn't worry about it. Um, yeah, public order went down. What can we do to fix this a bit more? There's not a lot we can do. I mean, this this is going to help. That's going to give an extra three public order. He's starting to get old. Securing promotions. We probably don't need to do that right now. I really need my I need more cash coming through. I need my economy to be a bit stronger. Public order here is good. Let's get the jeweler. Okay. Um, let's, well, that used up pretty much all my money. Break that. I know the public order here is not great, but I'm sure I get it under control. Right, moving on. So next turn we declare war on Carthage. because they have a region that I want. Or is it the Libyans have that region? But whatever the case is, we can't declare war on the Libyans until we were at um, Carthage anyway. So the Pale Fawn gave 10 Gravitas. Well, that's not much, but better than nothing. Um, looking good. So we just finished this tech here, giving us extra public order. Now that one there will take us a little while to do, so it might be best to just hold off on that until we've increased our research rate. Now if we go with some construction tech, we can increase growth, which will come in handy early on. Especially if we get to here, maybe just research straight to... research these three and then that one. So, see how we go with that. Okay, so they brought some extra units over here, so it's, it's a good thing we, um, we brought the other army. Alright, time to declare war on Carthage. Let's just see if they've got any other enemies. They're at war with people we haven't met. So, I mean, we're just, we're just going to have to suck up the fact that we're going to war with these two as well. 
I find the heat leaves me unable to suffer. Okay, we didn't lose that much reliability, so we should be fine in regard to those that we are trading with. We take this settlement for Rome. I don't even know if we can win that one manually. Not without at least, you know, a lot of planning. Okay, that's not great. But it's okay. Would have lost a lot more in manually resolve. Just because they didn't bring enough troops, but it's alright. Okay. Now destroy that. Should be able to defend yourselves. Okay, well, I'm gonna have to hire Rarari, which are trash in manually resolve. Hastati are much better. But you know, I don't don't really have a choice. Okay, over here. Get ready. First things first, get rid of this wanker. So we got the jump on Carthage. This is why it's always best to be the attacker. And you get these really early gains. And we've secured the province. Now, if we have a look at their strength rating compared to us, that's basically even the odds. And that's all that's done. But we've gained two settlements from them. So that's also good. These guys will need some time to recover before they make an attempt to, uh, to come over here by sea. I don't know if I want to constantly sabotage that, you just stay put for the time being. You'll need to make your way over here to help. Might actually be a good idea if we can research champions as well, because they help with public order. But like I said, I want to get the growth going, because we need more build slots. Okay, we don't need this at Lily Biome. You can convert that to, to this. And let's convert that to civil sediment. Out of cash. There we go, that's really helping with our finances here. Let's have a look again. Oh good, so we've got three full provinces, sorry, four full provinces that are completely locked down. So Magna Grecia is... The public order will ma maintain itself now. Alright, let's move on. As soon as you know the conquest penalty's gone. Oh fuck, I didn't even notice that that guy was there. Um, let's see here, what have they got and what have we got? We've got one less unit than, sorry, one more unit than they have. Libyan hoplites. There's a very slim chance we can win this. Very slim. So I'm going to fight it. Because their general is not going to be that good of a fighter and we do have Principes. The mob are going to be totally worthless. I really could use some cavalry in this region to, to take out their missile units. Okay, we need to make use of the terrain that we have. Our, princ our Principes our, will be able to um, hold out against two of their units I think and you guys need to Disembark. Where are you? Alright. So I walked right past this motherfucker, didn't even didn't even see him, because he was hiding. So we have to take a defensive position. It, we were relying very heavily on our levies in this one. Unfortunately we only really have two units that can defend section of wall. I mean, the plebs count for nothing, literally. I don't even know why they put them in the game. Apart from just a joke. Okay, they're coming around this way. Slow down. Okay, get this square formation. If 
They won't be able to get in here without fighting them, I think. Yeah, shoot the mercenary Celtic Light Horse. Okay, stop. We're going to conserve our ammunition for units that are actually going to be dangerous. This one here I'm not too concerned with. So they they didn't get any kills there, but that's okay. We're going to stay more in the middle. And they're coming around the side, around the back here. Don't forget there's army troops up coming over, over here. Libyan hot lights, we're going to need to defend against that. They're coming around from all sides. This is a problem. They'll beat us if they do this. So what's coming around here? Mercenary uh, Numidian Javelin men. Okay, if we're going to have a skirmish, I want to have numbers. Don't use the, the mob until we absolutely have to. Hold your formation. Libyan hoplites. Okay, you're going to have to... Actually, meet them head on, charge into them. I can't defend two areas at once, we're just going to have to suck that up. You're going to have to hold out here and hold them off for the time being. Our general is under attack. Don't let these guys get to. No, 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 don't, don't skirmish mode, don't skirmish. Shoot them. No, you shoot the general while he's busy fighting mob. Come on, you guys need to hurry up and kill them. Need you to get back over here. The men are wavering. It's just the mob, it's fine. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna win this. Can I try and at least try and wipe out a few of their units? Wipe them out entirely, that way we don't have to deal with them next time. Right, wipe them out utterly. And I don't think they're wiped out. Kill the general. If we kill him, that'll make a big difference. How are you going? Okay, more Libyan javelin men over here. They're holding out remarkably well. Better than I thought they would. Oh, we need to hurry up. We need to be faster killers. The battle's going to be over before these guys have had much of a chance to kill. So shoot One the general. Used all its really? Need more ammo. Turn around. Give him some pillar. The enemy general is dead. finish them off. With the enemy general dead, everything's going to rely on my Principes now. Okay. Just, uh, you're gonna have to come in. We've got no javelins left. We might just win this, because no one's capable of taking on Principes on their own. It's just a matter of whether or not they, we get the army loss penalty at this point. Because we lost so many units, so many troops. Hopefully they stand and fight to the death. Get in there. I want to get these guys out, out of the fight. Bring them over here. Try not to shut up. No, no, no. Run, them, run them out. Because there's no point of them fighting. Let the Principes handle the rest of this battle. Okay, just to stand out here. You, you did a good job. You helped kill the general. Although the Principes really lifted, really carried the battle forward on this one. This is what I'm saying in regard to high tier versus low tier, tier units. Okay, winning decisively versus these guys. The only thing that they're going to struggle with, I guess, is the Celtic, uh, the Celtic light horse. The Celtic, Celtic, whatever. The mercenary Italian swordsmen are the equivalent of um, Hastati, so they should be able to beat them. So they're winning decisively at the moment. Plus, you know, their general's dead, and we don't have one, so we can't lose him. He's 
Getting experience, that's good. Kill for some more ammunition. Everything's going to count on us breaking them before we break, I think. These are high defense units with low attack, except for the Italian swordsmen, but they're not high enough quality to beat Trinket Pace. I'm, not, I'm just not 100% certain, that's all. Whatever the case is, it's going to be a close one. idiots. It does say he's winning slightly, and they, they will break before these guys do. That's good. But the, there's mercenary Italian swordsmen causing me problems. They're, they're trying to sneak by here because they want to kill him. And he's, he's nice and eager. Whenever the cavalry come in, that's what it says evenly matched. But if I bring these guys in, this is going to cause them to rout. Okay, good, that's one unit gone. Focus on the Italian swords. No, 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 no wrong unit. Stay put. They're trying to cycle charge, what they need to do is get around the back. Libby and Javelin men seem to be holding out fairly well. Okay, what might be a good idea for you is if you can find these guys and run them down, because there's still a chance we might lose this. And if we do lose, we want to make sure we've dished out as much damage as possible. They, they can't run away from there. Oh, shit. I don't want to... That selection. I don't think they're going to win. Okay, what I need to do, I think, send them in. They just need to help with this. E even if it's just slowing... If these guys have got another person to attack, then who knows. But the cavalry will absolutely wreck them. So it says combat even, so we just come in and help. And even if... And also, the fact that they're fresh might help. These guys here should be fairly tired. My guys are exhausted. The thing is, they're just a little bit outnumbered. I'll be shooting them more of their own men than anything there. I just want them to break. I need units to break. So get in there and try and help. If we can, try to get around their flank. Now he's losing slightly. Oh, so close. God, it was so close. Alright, just hurry it up. Try and kill as many of them as you can. But they're nearly twice outnumbered now. What won the battle for the Carthaginians here is the mercenary Italian swordsman. Without that unit, they wouldn't have won. These here got a lot of kills, but they got a lot of kills against tr crappy units. So I need to send the army that's at um, um, Corallus back up here to retake this. At least they, they didn't they lost their general in the fight. What else did they lose? Just the general. They'll be they'll be recovering that for a little while. Anyway, losing Alalia to a low rank settlement. Okay, if that other general had been there, we would have won easily. The main thing there was that. The uh, one of the one of my uh, my javelin units my lord. 
is willing to lay down the sword. It is not often that he is more It's Libya that I want. But if I accept this peace treaty here, I'll probably go back to being unreliable. So probably probably not a good idea. Okay, now we've just hit an hour and a half here, but I just want to play a little bit longer. Yeah, we couldn't recruit those uh, Roarii because it got cancelled. We need to get back up here and stop them. Now that leaves the settlement vulnerable, but we have to get rid of their army. Now Carthage looks ripe for the taking, we just need to land. Um, which is kind of difficult to land here. We don't want to go in via the port. So they'll have to come around over here. Is now the time to do it? We're in reasonable shape. We're probably going to take a little bit of damage, but taking Carthage this early on, I think that's a great idea. Now, while we're out at sea, it doesn't really, really matter if we use Force March or not, because there's no ambush battles at sea. Now, we need to start sabotaging these guys like crazy, so that... They're damaged as fuck when we get there. Okay, the public order of Magna Grisha will we'll maintain. There's no garrison at um, Lilybyum, but that'll be okay. We need to build that here. Okay, now that you've made it back here, recruit a new army. Need more troops. Now send them up north just to make sure those guys there don't attack. The three armies that I've got dedicated to Carthage should be more than enough. Actually, I'll tell you what, just for just for the moment, build this so that he can get Hastati here. And then we'll just demolish it afterwards. Because I usually like to have just one recruiting area. That's fine for the time being. So we've got a little bit of money, what are we going to do with it? There's nothing we can do. Unless we build that, there we go. Let's move on. And then they just ran away. So they don't intend to hold it. But they've made me spend time to go back and get it. But that's okay, we're about to invade bloody Carthage. It's gonna fuck them up big time. So now we want... That provided growth, that was the main thing I went for that. Now this provides plus three growth in all provinces, that's what I really need. Okay, so retake Alalia. And they couldn't hold on to it at all. Oh, motherfuckers. Bitch. Okay, now we don't want to be in force much. Come off to dry land. Now, next turn we should be able to hit Carthage. Good, and you poison the garrison. Good job. I think the Libyans are actually at war with Carthage. No. Wait, don't they start off? Doesn't Carthage start off with this region? Maybe not. Well, whatever. I'll, um, I'll take it off the Libyans as soon as they... Because, like I said, this is my main concern over here. I want that. Once I've got that, I'm willing to talk peace. Alright, what are we doing now? I need you to come up a little bit further north, because you're going to stay at Patavium. Because it's under threat by stinking ghouls. Okay, got no money left after that. move on. And they abandoned their, their fucking capital. Well, they've recognized that, you know, they're just getting sabotaged to hell. They've lost this war, that's for sure. Now, there's quite a lot of troops there, um, 
that we saw. If we can get... We'll need one of the, the agents to go and sabotage it. Oh, you fucking got sabotaged. Luckily, we brought two armies in. And you can force march to come and help, and it'll also get you out of force march afterwards. There we go. Only losing 4% of our troops. No whole battalions. Good. Take the settlement, don't loot it, because we want to keep moving. So Carthage is get hightailing it out of there. Now, I did see Libyan forces move around here, and if they're going uh, west... I uh, know, like, we're going south, so I don't know if we really want to worry too much about that. Anyway, that's the end of this episode, guys, so like and subscribe. Part 2 is next, and don't forget to visit me on Facebook. See you next time, fuckers.